to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we are glancing at Finch, a very child-friendly version of the apocalypse starring none other than Tom Hanks, of course. But before we get started, please like the video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to flash that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. Spoiler warning ahead. The film starts off by showing us a dusty wasteland as a sandstorm blows through what used to be a metropolitan city, and emerging out of the dust clouds is Tom Hanks in a makeshift spacesuit. His arm gadget reveals to him that UV radiation is high and that his body temperature is climbing. He is followed by a tiny robot and he enters an old department store in search for parts. There are dead bodies here and there, mostly desiccated like dry husks after being trapped in the heat and radiation of the solar flares that have damaged the Earth. It seems that Finch is scared of something, which is later revealed to be other survivors who will kill and steal on sight. He grabs some things and hops into his giant dump truck looking vehicle and heads back to his base. In said base, he decontaminates himself, changes into some regular clothes, and goes about his routine. We see that he is sick from the radiation as well, and also that he has a small canine companion. The parts that he has been gathering are to build a humanoid robot with artificial intelligence to look after his dog and continue to preserve human knowledge after he dies. On one fateful day, it works, and he's able to communicate with the new intelligence. This spurns on a series of montages as he tries to teach the robot things, like walking, idioms, and how to play fetch with the dog. Finch also has this postcard of places like San Francisco, and wants to head there to see the Golden Gate Bridge before he dies. When the robot is ready, they hop into an armored up motorhome and get on the road. Along the way, they encounter some issues including a would-be raider, but eventually they make it to an oasis of sorts. This place is untouched by radiation, and the heat is nominal, which allows Finch to go outside without his heavy suit and feel the sun on his face again. He puts on a dapper suit, has lunch with the robot, and a deep conversation about mortality. The robot plays fetch with the dog, and the next morning, Finch dies. The robot continues to care for the dog and gets back on the road, finally reaching the bridge at the end and saying his goodbyes to his creator and friend, Finch. Overall, the film wasn't terrible. It was basically a bunch of previous existing films mashed into one and sanitized for family-friendly viewing. You had Bicentennial Man meets A Boy and His Dog meets A Day After Tomorrow. A few moments of danger aren't really played out to how terrifying it should actually be, and most of the film is spent on hijinks that the robot gets into, but not a terrible film by any means. If you've been wanting to sink your teeth into a real deep apocalypse style film, this one is just a light pre-dinner snack. Tom Hanks does what Tom Hanks does best, and the CG and practical effects are pretty decent. although. A few times, I swear they use CG on the dog to make it look like it had facial expressions. I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. It does have a predictable ending, and it kinda doesn't go anywhere. A story we've heard time and time again when it comes to AI. Either they go evil, or they become so wholesome that they are good and better than humans could be. I want to thank you all for checking out the video. Please give it a like share, and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to reach out to us, you can do so on Twitter, at Studios Fat, or chat with us on Discord, linked below. Please take a moment to check out our Patreon, also linked below, as joining can help us see many more movies to review for you all. I've been your host, Jackie Kay, and before I go, no one is perfect. Trying to live up to what everyone else's idea of perfection is, uh, that's impossible and will certainly tear you apart. Have a talk with yourself, discover who you truly are, change the things that you don't like about yourself, and then accept all of the rest. The only way to be happy in life is to love who you are. Thanks again, and as always, take care.